Dear Diary, we're finishing our diary entry of my second arrest. Where this is a, I'm recording this days later, um, which is not optimal. So, as you can recall, I ran out of gas on uh, whatever it is, Route 95 or whatever, in Marlboro, Mass, in, outside of my home in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Ran out of gas. My friend Bill came to help me, but a state trooper pulled over, checked my ID, said I had a suspended license, threatened to beat me up, and things like that. I know it was wrong, but the computer printout said it. I did have a suspended license, so it was not the individual cop who was a rude asshole's fault. It was the DMV's fuck up. They impounded my car for days. I had to pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars I didn't have to get my car back so I could go to work. Um, just scandal upon scandal. Well, the police officer also, while I was cuffed in the car, uh, he did say, uh, sh uh, whatever he said, it's like, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking take you out and beat your faggot long-haired ass. Then at one point he also said to me, he said, I didn't have to arrest you. I wanted to arrest you. And in fact, I have been pulled over while driving with an actually suspended license, legitimately suspended license, and the police have let me off without a warning because I was a nice guy. And they were halfway decent. <coughs> Belch. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, God, for that gas bubble. Amen. God given. Uh, so then we fight it in court. Now, I was... A teenager still didn't know anything about my rights, etc., etc. I guess I had a court-appointed attorney who was... I don't remember if they were good or bad. I don't remember anything about it. I've been to court so many fucking times. I've had so many lawyers since. It's unfucking believable I, I may have set records in, in American history. So the... This we do remember, though. My lawyer did get the DMV records, which proved the DMV had made a mistake. They suspended my license for not paying a fine that I had paid, a ticket or whatever, that I had paid many months earlier. But they didn't have their shit together, and one hand didn't know what the other hand was doing. So I lost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, was arrested, blah, 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 all because of DMV mistakes. We had their own DMV paperwork and printout that proved it. Done. The judge should have said, I'm so sorry, Mr. Brodor. What happened to you is outrageous, blah, 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 blah. That's not what he did. The judge said, okay, $50 fine. Ooh, a $50 fine against me for being innocent and having like $600 stolen from me by this corrupt government. A $50 fine for being innocent. And this is my second arrest. My first arrest, oh, remember, I break the law every single day. I deliberately break the law in front of cops every single day. I have deliberately filmed myself breaking the law in front of cops to prove that the purpose of police has nothing to do with enforcing the law. It's a political organization. They're a political hit squad. Sometimes they get out of control and just do shit on their own. Um, and... Not one of my arrests has ever been remotely legitimate. Fun fact, I've been arrested many, many times. Not once has there been a germ of truth to my arrests. And again, I break the law every day. I'll break the law tomorrow. I'll break the law with you the next, next week if you'd like me to, if you don't believe me, if you think I'm exaggerating. And you'll see me not get arrested. Um, I even break the law sometimes when I have no reason to, just to mock cops because they refuse to do their job. They are a political organization. You people still don't believe that. You still think, no, police's job it really is to enforce the law. No, I really believe what they told me. You know, I mean, yeah, they lied about Santa. Yeah, okay, they lied about God too, probably. But they didn't lie about all that other stuff. No, they lied about all that other stuff. All of that other stuff. And, um, and so... Being young and naive and not knowing what to do, I ended up saying, my lawyer wasn't much help. Um, he didn't say things like, no, we're going to fight this. Uh, because remember, they don't give a fuck. Lawyers don't give a fuck. Maybe if you're rich and you're paying them a bonus, if they win, they give a fuck. In no other circumstance do they give a fuck. They're just punching the clock. And, and it's even worse here in New York, much, much worse. The less work they do, the more they get paid from you. I mean, it's designed to be a catastrophe, and it is. That's why you hear about 113 innocent men cleared off death row so far, and counting. Uh, 
I ended up saying, I'm not paying 50 fucking dollars. I took community service instead. So, end of this sad, tragic story. I am uh, cleaning a cemetery with a bunch of other teenage dirtbags. I wasn't a teenage dirtbag, but I looked like one. My long hair, uh, which I've had since I was nine. And so, we're all cleaning. We're all telling our different stories. And everyone's like, kind of like... Yeah, man, I got fucked over. Yeah, I got fucked over, too, by the cops. Yeah, I got fucked over by the cops. One guy's like, yeah, yeah, no, uh, I mean, I led the cops in a, a high-speed chase through three cities. <laughs> but, you know, still, they didn't have to fucking treat me the way they did. It's like, huh. And everybody was telling their stories, and I told my story, and everyone went, holy fuck, dude, you were fucked over. You were fucking raped. It's like, thanks. Remind me. Rub it in. Um, It's a story of my life. I am literally the most fucked over human in mankind history. I'm like a million Anne Franks. And I know you think I'm exaggerating. So challenge me to back that statement up. It sounds like a bold statement. A million Anne Franks. Right. Ask me to back it up because I can. The, The depth of facts that you could never guess are shocking. And don't forget... All the other levels and stuff that you're ignoring. Example, most of the people who fucking destroyed my life were the people closest to me. My mother bludgeoning me all the time. It wasn't Anne Frank's mom who turned her into the Nazis. You see the difference? And Anne Frank was put out of her pain and misery, blah, blah, blah. Anne Frank was, wasn't was turned in by her closest friends. I was. Almost everybody who's fucked me over are people who were my closest friends. Like the Trachtenbergs or Diana Debra or Jessica Delfino or and on and on and on. All these fucking people. My own lawyers are the ones who fucked me over the most. Etc. 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 You can't fathom what it's like to be me. I can't fathom it and I live it every day. But it's like after the 75,000th rape, you it starts to all blur together. And remember, I had the worst life of any human being by the age of 10. And every year of my life has been worse than any other human being's life. And I really want to do a thing where I challenge people. I dare you to invent, with no limits, invent a life worse than mine. I bet you can't do it. You'd be like, yeah, I can. Uh, I got a kid born without eyesight whose uh, crackhead mother is an alcoholic who beats him every day. Uh, I'm like, keep going, keep going. No, no, that's not good enough. Keep going, because I'll, I'll rip it to shreds. Um, um, and um, he shits his pants every day, and because uh, he's got uh, super release bowel <laughs> syndrome. Uh, keep bringing it on, keep bringing it on, because that wouldn't count. Because, for instance, I'll give you an example. If he's in, he, if he's born in a paraplegic or whatever, he's going to get SSI. Ta da! His bills are taking care of him for the rest of his life. Oh. Unlike mine. Took me one second to prove that analogy bad. Okay? My mother beat the shit out of me. Okay? So it has to be, remember, you have to come up with a situation where the person can't get SSI. You'd be like, oh, a person uh, is run over by a lawnmower by a drunken, uh, a drunken Charlie Manson and, uh, and uh, his girlfriend breaks up with him because his dick has been cut off by the lawnmower and uh, keep coming, keep coming because... That person's going to get SSI and he's been thrashed by a lawnmower and can't fucking work again. See, I can, I mean, you don't, I, I can destroy the rest of the facts too. Having a girlfriend dump you because you got your penis chopped off on a lawnmower is not a big deal. Having your girlfriend steal your music and make money around the world and use that success to destroy your life on every level is worse. Having her throw you in jail falsely. Remember, being thrown in jail falsely is not that big a deal. This is, again, it's so complicated, so comprehensive that you people can't possibly wrap your heads around it. I can't. Example, to be thrown in jail falsely is horrible. But it's worse than you think because you leave out the fact that, oh, that's right, they illegally torture you in jail. Um, and not everybody. In some states, they still give you a disappearance ticket or something. You go to jail, they fingerprint you, and then they let you go. Or you see a judge. Nope, New York City is one of the most corrupt places on planet Earth. Um, also, being falsely arrested is not that big a deal because you can fight back. But how do you fight back if you've got 25 false arrests? See? So being falsely arrested changes. If two people are falsely arrested, they're not the same. If one is fighting 20 
other false arrests, and the second person isn't, you see? Because then the first person can get justice easier. It's like you have two automobiles. One is a flat tire. They both have flat tires. You think they're the same because that's lazy intellectually. If two cars have flat tires, it's not the same because it depends on do they both have spare tires? Do they both have cell phones? Do they both have the ability to fix the tire? Is one person in the rain and the cold and one person in the sun and the warmth? Is one person near civilization? Is one person with a flat tire far away in the desert? Is one person late for a life-changing event or a job interview? Is one person have all afternoon off? All of these facts you people leave out. It is human nature to be very superficial and very intellectually lazy. And since I have the most complicated life on earth, no one can understand it because no one has ever lived anything like it. No one's ever heard of anything like it. So you people naively judge me based on your past experiences and your past access to a certain amount of information and knowledge. You say, oh yeah, I got a flat tire too once in the rain. It really sucked. No, 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 no. Were you also late for a job interview? Were you also in a wheelchair? Were you also, did you also have no spare tire and no phone? Did you, you see, you go down the list. Did you also have no friends or family who could come help you? Did you also, see, facts matter. Details are more important than anything. And I can't stress that enough for the human race. Details are the most important thing in life. Nothing else matters but details. For instance, if you hear somebody charged with a murder, that's irrelevant information. It's pointless. It's, that's meaningless information. Charged with a murder, who cares? Doesn't mean dick squat. All that matters are the details. Was it self-defense against a mugger? Was it because he didn't like the way somebody looked at him in a bar? You see? The circumstances, the fact that he murdered somebody means nothing. Was he a soldier for the U.S. military? Was he in the SEALs shooting Osama bin Laden in the forehead? You see? It's the details that are all that matters. Nothing else but details matter, right? If they say, oh, so anytime you hear anything in your life, ignore it. All you need is the why, the why, the why. Oh, what would you say my husband cheated on me? Doesn't mean anything. We need to know why. Was it because you nagged the shit out of him? Was it because you wouldn't put out when he wanted to fuck for, for the last 10 years? We need to know why. That he cheated on you doesn't mean anything. Why did he cheat on you? Somebody robs a bank. It doesn't matter they robbed a bank. The question is, why did they rob a bank? So please remember that from now on. You need to always get both sides of the story or maybe more than two sides of the story and you need to find out why. Okay? That's one reason why my life is so bad. For instance, people won't help me because they see that I look like I'm a healthy guy and I look like I got my shit together and I'm not in tears. So they assume my life's not so bad because if it was, then I wouldn't look so good and I would be crying all the time. You see, people are superficial. They're knee jerks, okay? Shit is a little more complicated than human beings think it is. And it's bad because I have the worst life. I not only have the worst life of any human being in the history, you can't find a human being in all of recorded history with a life even 5% as bad as mine. But you don't know anything about my life. So you couldn't even begin to contemplate what I just challenged you to. Do you see what I'm trying to say here? Um, it's, again, even I can't. I can't list even probably 3% of the shit I've gone through. It's just too much, to, you know, the... 5,000 times I've been assaulted, I can't even remember most of them. All I can remember is bleeding, 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 something broken, bleeding, 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 cut, whipped, pain, pu you know. After a while, the human brain can't process all that. You can't memorize 500 trillion things. I'm sorry. The human brain has its limits, okay? It's, it's, I've dealt with so much bullshit in my life that it's not possible. Can I remember the name of all my lawyers, the dozens and dozens of lawyers I've had? No. Now, I have one of the most amazing memories on earth because the brain is a muscle. But still, there's only so much you can do. You can't have a guy who works out all day long and like, no, watch this. I'm going to lift uh, I'm gonna lift a fucking 30-story building. No, you aren't. I don't give a fuck how long you work out. You can work out your whole life. You ain't going to be able to lift up a fucking 50-story building, asshole. Okay? There are limits to the human brain and the human body. And I'm way past those limits. Hell, I was way past those limits when I was fucking 15. Um, but I can just give you endless horror stories, literally. 
and I can tell you horror stories if I live to be 110 and I won't get through them. Because remember, every day of my life is numerous horror stories. Every day of my life. Endless new travesties and horrors. And even just in the five criminal trials I have pending, thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of new crimes will happen in these five cases before they are resolved. You can't comprehend it. I can't comprehend it. Again, and I'm an eyewitness. So please stop jumping to conclusions. Please. Again, that's another per reason why I have it worse than any human in history. Because I'm not like other human beings. Most human beings follow their stereotypes. I don't. So I, everyone who jumps to conclusions about me gets it wrong every single time. Example, most people would see me with long hair and see that I'm a musician and assume that I have long hair because I'm a musician. Because every other human being on earth, male, who has long hair and is a musician, grew his hair long because he was a musician. I didn't. I had long hair for eight years before I ever picked up an instrument. I had long hair since I was nine because I hated getting haircuts. And my mother didn't give a shit about me. And so when I said, I don't want any more haircuts, she said, whatever. Um... I was a super latchkey kid, and I hated haircuts, and I've also never believed in discrimination. I don't believe in gender discrimination or racial discrimination. None of that shit has ever meant anything to me. I saw that girls could have long hair. Um, why can't guys? I don't give a fuck about that shit. Um, and so since I break every single stereotype and every rule there is, I mean, look at me. Nobody would ever look at me and say, this guy with long hair and a funny fish hair. I bet that guy's a fucking genius political scientist. Or I bet that guy's a genius inventor. Or, that guy looks like a genius architect. Nope. No one, because I don't follow stereotypes, right? When I'm doing art metal, am I wearing a leather jacket with studs? No. Uh, I'm wearing a tweed coat. And I don't like stereotypes. They bore me. They annoy me. You know what I mean? When was the last time you saw a punk rocker who looked like a punk rocker? That's fucking boring. I live in a boring robot world, and I never liked living in a boring robot world, and I've never been a boring robot. Please, people, stop being a bunch of fucking robots. Metalheads who look like metalheads should be shot. Uh, new waivers who look like new waivers should be shot. Fucking stereotypes are fucking disgusting. And they've ruined my life because everyone judged me based on the appropriate stereotype. And that judgment was always wrong. And that judgment destroyed my life. Please kill me. Please, 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 please kill me.